your motherfucking ball. Tonight, these unlikely allies will confront terror most foul in the blood so tall. <laughs> Palace of Pain. Be a courteous guest. By tomorrow morning, I'll have my motherfucking revenge. Papa Caesar will be dead. If we don't stop this oh week without break, by tomorrow <laughs> morning, we'll all be dead. Because your first visit will be your last. The game is everything that is right about a real game. Rated X. Totally, man. No, this game is awesome. I love this game. It I'm so, so glad good. it came up on the cookie. I just I wonder how the controls gonna be because the the uh, the cursor or not the cursor, the sensor bar is not exactly in the best position right now. I also don't remember what any of the buttons are, so this is gonna be fun. Well, that buttons to shoot things. You point the thing to aim. I'm pretty sure the only I'm legitimately pretty sure the only buttons are A and then waggle. The reload, I think, is waggle. Reload is actually the A button. Oh. Then shoot must be B. You are correct. Reload. I missed and the brain. I'm set. I missed the brain. And then... For anyone wondering, the little next to the score, the bullet hole is uh, continuous shots on target, and then you build up a combo to get to overkill. Yeah, and I think uh, I think one of them is actually an American flag. Right That's there. when you get to overkill. It's, it's uh, in bold letters says overkill, and it's an American flag waving. Yeah, it's patriotic. I love it. America. I don't, I'm feel, like, it, this doesn't feel very good for aiming the way I'm holding this right now. It, you can't see it because I'm obviously not on camera, but I don't think we're going to be seeing America mode anytime soon. Uh, I think it's, like... You have to get 25 shots in a row without missing. Yeah, I couldn't remember the exact Seriously? number, but I know it was a lot, yeah. Oh. And I'll be honest, the, this is not one-to-one -one reaction right now, so it's not going to be accurate. In fact, I'm going to rechange my position here. Maybe this will help. <clears throat> All right, let's see if that. Also, can I can I get subtitles on the actual? Yeah, no, that's that's the best it'll do for subtitles. Okay, sure. Let's see if this helps any. Oh yeah, it's called a gorgasm, right? That's not it's not called a over. <laughs> I think that's just one of the actual like steps below it. Oh right, it's not 25 shots; it's 25 deaths. You have to kill 25 zombies without missing. Wow, fuck that. <laughs> oh, wait, what? I can, oh, I can aim around. Okay, I didn't realize that. I got to extreme violence and then lost my combo. Game. Not, it, not, it was originally meant as a Wii game. Nope. House of the Dead, the series, was uh, an arcade game. Typing in the Dead too? I have Typing in the Dead on PC. Oh my god. Playing that game is hilarious. I actually, oh, hey, there's a combo. Oh. I cannot, I like, that's how bad my accuracy is right now. I couldn't shoot that brain. I remember... Playing, um, I remember playing House of the Dead 2 in the arcade with my dad, like when I was like six, and I couldn't get past that one friggin' worm boss just because I I was just blindly shooting. You, uh, you can actually play. Man, I'm pretty sure any game with the gun accessory, it would just be incredibly awkward most of the time. Yeah. Any game that doesn't require a nunchuck, I should say, because I think it plugs in through the nunchuck port. Load. 
So, this is also on PS3 if you have a PlayStation Move, by the way. Uh, did they port it to PS3? They did. Uh, House of the Dead Overkill Director's Cut. Oh. Never knew that. Apparently, they oh, added yeah. like at least an extra storyline to it as well. And then it has those green things that you can pick up and slow down time. Oh yeah, the other problem with the Wii version that it's like so unoptimized, it randomly locks up. So there are like little loading hiccups between like sh shooting a zombie. Sound. What the fuck? Um, oh, because my computer's being a piece of shit. Cool. So my computer has this bad habit of just randomly accessing buttons that are on my dash. And one of those buttons happens to be volume mute. So the randomly I will lose all audio to the game and to the Skype call. Wow. Because HP makes great computers. Also, I just You're died dead. because of that. Fuck. Awesome. Well... Obama. Yeah, thanks, Obama. God. Clearly, this fault. You tip over your coat. Thanks, Obama. It's clearly you know, I was fault. gonna say, make the joke more pertinent to John and say thanks. Uh, thanks, Prime Minister. Yeah, I couldn't remember who it was. Uh, Stephen Harper. Thanks, that's Harper. What, that's who I thought it was. For some reason, I was thinking, um. I'm the last a... one you had. I don't exactly care. Gretchen? What do you think is John Christian? Who's that thinking? I don't know. Fall down a sewer and die? Thanks, Obama. I keep forgetting it's Harper. Yeah, Paul Martin. That's who I was thinking of. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, previous. Because he had the same name as a Devil's Defender for a while. I hope we at least get to some cuts, more cutscenes. You guys need to at least see the better cutscenes in this game. I hope you've seen some of the cutscenes, uh, thanks to Maxwell's like play, I guess. So I, I, I well, exactly. I meant for everyone else, dude. Oh yeah. There's a, there's a couple people watching tonight. You might you might want to be nice yes. to them too. Oh god. Big leg. Right. I'm just saying that some of these cutscenes, I'm agreeing with you, some of these are freaking great. <clears throat> Especially one of the ones at the end. The I think I know which one you're talking about too. Right after the final boss. Yeah. That one, yeah. That entire cutscene. Hell, even the one right before it. I'm also just imagining John flailing a lot. Even that cutscene right before it. Someone in chat said, hey, as someone who lives in Calgary, do you ever go to video game trader? Uh, yeah, uh, Karen at Video Game Trader, the, the Center Street one, knows me fairly well. 
I actually used to live fairly close to hurt the main one, so. Yeah, they were talking about specifically the one on Center Street. Yeah. I do love the Wii, because you see like a shitty brown board, and then it's like, oh yeah, we need to render something, don't we? I guess we'll throw in some details. I think Dead Space Extraction came out on PS3 as well. Yeah, it got, it got ported, I remember that. Because I'm remembering, like, playing that game on a controller and how terrible it was. Oh, that tends to. Um, this game is about saying the word fuck as much as humanly possible, and I guess shooting zombies in a real shooter. Yeah, no, it, it's motherfucker, not, not fuck. It's also about, basically, crap, what, what else could it possibly be about? Nothing I guess so there's a storyline, but I, don't, I honestly don't even remember it. I just remember saying fucking motherfucker. The, How the, old is this game? Uh, I'm not even sure if that old. I think it might be. I think it might be 09. Shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Wii version's 09. Man, PS3 last last time I played this, I remember having the shotgun. I think I need to earn the shotgun fast. Oh, that's going. Shit, man. <sighs> yeah, this game is pretty much every zombie cliche you can think of. But and that's why it's awesome. Yeah, it's funny. Has Agent G covered wars? No. Then it's not every zombie cliche. <laughs> that's the one it's missing. Is that really a cliche considering Dead Rising made that only like a couple years ago? Eh, yeah, maybe. I mean, there is the one guy that like is always the survival wartime guy. It's just that uh, friggin' Dead Rising is only more like, made it more of like a meme. God damn it. I thought it was like, apparently it was such a big deal that they, Dead Rising 2 needed to make the expansion where it was back to Frank West and his photos. Oh, Off the Record? Yeah. Yeah, that, I liked Off the Record. It was much more than Dead Rising 2, honestly. But it was basically Dead Rising 2. Oh well, yeah, but exactly. Like I like that. I like the Frank West one better. Reload. Multi twitch. How about what? What? Huh. Apparently there's a multi twitch. So I never even knew about that. You oh. never know. You never heard about multi twitch? Nope. There's also like Cadgar.net, which was the same thing. I can't even see what the hell was shooting at me just then, but apparently something was throwing knives at me. Oh. Yeah, there was like a zombie. Something, I guess. Man, extended director's cut feels a lot longer. I feel like I should have been at the boss by now. I think you should have, honestly, because I don't remember the added being a part of it. I don't remember that being a part of the level. Okay, this leads to the boss, I'm pretty sure. With one bar of health. I've still got and a continue left. Continue, yeah. yeah. Taken the stairs. Ah! Washington, you okay? No, I am not okay, asshole. Take it off, detective. Come on, let's move. Never get in oh, the elevator in a zombie. Shit, shit really? Is there still more to this level? Yeah. Huh, I could have sworn that it would have had more uses. Apparently, House of the Dead Overkill has 189 uses of the F bomb, according to Kotaku. You're dead. This one would be a lot more than that. Seems only like four hours long, though. Sure, not even, not even. True, but still. I'm 
kill you. God damn, them. these guys are. I do not remember these guys being that difficult to kill. I think it's because you are playing Director's Edition. And. Can someone verify if Director's Cut is, like, overall, like, more difficult? Or is it just longer? Let's find out. Ignoring the fact that my accuracy has been kind of garbage. Dark Just Cut has a longer version of the story mode, as well as different paths of the rail. More enemies are also present in the Director's Cut. Player's selection of money and weapons of Direct Just is separate. From the so, if you would have played normal, uh, Direct Just Cut include dual we'll wielding, extra mutants, and two additional weapons. So yeah, I should have picked normal. And you would have had your old weapons, yeah. Yeah. Oh, then I would have been cruising through this if I was using my old weapons. Yeah, and you would have actually probably gotten me a boss and got thing already. We've probably been halfway through stage two at this rate, because I do not remember the stage being this fucking long. I don't remember the fucking beat grinder either. Really. I remember that. I do remember that. We're coming. We're close grinder. to the boss. Huh. I, I can't even see! Oh. Come. That's why I didn't actually didn't know the elevators out. what Director Cut had in store. That's what, I was kind of curious to pick it. All right, here we go. First boss in another cutscene, finally. Mm. So be quiet. Enjoy. Uh, that one more. A sadistic crime lord, master of a perverse science. My darling Jasper, do you have a present for me? They call him Caesar. A test subject at the hospital is showing progress. You've done very well, my boy. We shall celebrate this tonight with takeout Chinese. A brilliant mind with a broken body. You've gone too far, Papa Caesar. His talents turn to evil to protect the sister who raised him. <laughs> you impotent cripple. <clears throat> Of your sister before <laughs> His glasses are back on him. Next time you speak, turn the volume to zero. <laughs> Fucking cabbage. Nobody <laughs> threatens Farla. The ultimate sacrifice. Freeze, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> because of the shocking nature of the following scenes, they are definitely not recommended for the squeamish or the easily offended. <laughs> Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! I remember this boss fight. Yeah, I wonder where he's supposed to shoot him. Gee, could we shoot him in the head perhaps? Maybe that would. The funny thing is, that's on every boss. They literally just go show you every boss where they shoot him. Yeah. Whoa, you what? Are dead. Hmm? I'm not even sure what what clipped me. I just saw that I suddenly took damage. And now I see what's doing it. Special <laughs> shadow, shoot the cripple in the legs. I won't do anything though. That's the joke. I love how the game is like, yeah, he's weak right now. Here's a giant red circle.
That's time to reload. Chris Hartman says, Skype peeps, have any of you read slash watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No. Nope. I've heard of it. You think he would run out of stuff to throw at you? No. He's just throwing the same things over and over, to be fair. That is true. Yeah. He's psychic, so... He's a psychic zombie or whatever. Yeah. Psychic. Did you just throw a torso at you? Yeah, that's yeah, what he's been doing for random. quite a while. Just throw a random head, arm, limbs. Yes, and I believe that would be. He's me. nowhere near you right now, though. I'm the one who says motherfucker the most. <laughs> A family betrayed. Tell my sister I'm Fuck! How do you say that shit without moving Motherfucker your lips? Mike? Motherfucker Jake, John? You see this shit? An act of mercy. It hurts so much. I can help ease the pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't fucking not shoot the motherfucker. Don't you do tact. That's what I am going to fucking do. You know, Shut the fuck up and shoot. Shit. Happy now? Fuck with. You fucking bastard! You killed my brother! You're his sister? You're his sister? Arla Guns, a doting sibling to a crippled brother, forced into a life of vice. Now she's filled with a primal hunger for revenge. Mankind's last hope now rests on the shoulders of two men. Caesar's heading to the hospital. We gotta stop that asshole before he gets there. A tasteful ride. Don't disrespect my wheels. She's my pride and joy. Mm, we'll take my car. The plantation house has claimed its victims, but with Papa Caesar on the loose, <laughs> nobody is safe. You died trying to stop Caesar. I won't rest until I've got his fucking <laughs> Least of all, Tim. Those are some big guns she's carrying. Wow, all that and I still had like 73% accuracy. <laughs> so by the end of the first chapter, there's 19 times they say the word fuck. Someone, words, someone is chat like counting, aren't they? Yeah. I got a B rank with how bad that was. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it, I mean, sure, but... Wow. I think it would be cool if... You go out to your original story and just show how ridiculously overpowered the guns get. Yeah, no, I. It's not letting me leave the screen though. That's the weird thing. High score. Thing. You you have to go to high score. It's not letting me pick high score. Huh? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. This time it works. That was strange. Indeed. Rota. Mm. AGG, 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 oh no, it's, it's going straight into the next one. So, well, once I get killed on this next one, we'll we'll go to the the uh, normal story and show you how crazy the guns get. Oh no, no, here we go. As you well know, Isaac, Let's get back. A loading screen. Wait, hang on. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. 
I will smile with the Oh no, this is the same Anna Cat. Okay. Let's move. As you scream for your fucking life. Of course, that's the sour. Ciao. Mad motherfucker. Shit, the place is wide to blow. We're the poker prop is there a vagina monster. Um, yeah. There's a Mac hang up. That's gonna do a lot of damage. And then you can throw something in your second one, right? Yeah. Hey, what gun did I not buy? The hand oh the hand cannon! Hello! <laughs> Well, hello there. Gentlemen, this is your driver speaking. To be fair, I'm pretty much just going to be using the automatic shotgun, but... Well, wouldn't you? Honestly, <laughs> I'd go for the hand pain just because. Does that start with max damage? Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, automatic shotgun and hand cannon. That's what I'm going with. Well, it needs to emphasize that it's a hand cannon. Emphasis on the cannon. Yeah. Washington and his associate are on their way. Tonight, you have been admitted to Bayou County General. Rest assured, Clement. I have a plan which will eliminate both of them and any evidence of our work here. Your symptoms? Cold sweats, irregular heartbeat, anxiety. The diagnosis? Bleeding horror that cuts like a scalpel to the heart. There is only one cure. A white hot bullet to the brain. Ballistic trauma. You will give me a blank prescription. All right, now here's how the game goes: A, when you're on an easier difficulty, aka the normal story, and B, when you have an automatic shotgun. Time for some aggressive surgery. If the Wii, okay, I should say if the Wii ever loads. Yeah, the Wii doesn't have a heart attack. No, this is now chapter two, since between each chapter it brings you back out to the menu, so it's easy to switch back and forth to director's cut. Uh, let's try the hand cannon. Let's see how this is. Oh, that sound effect is satisfying. Hmm. I just love how that one piece of brain just decided to fly towards the camera. Gotta be 3D somehow, man. Fuck, man. Yeah. Not another elevator. Not after that last one. <laughs> Take that trauma center. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your trauma. This game, if you get this game and have the move, I recommend it. I haven't even played it on the PS3, but I recommend it on the PS3. This game is not that optimized. Though. No. This is... It was great when it came out, but I mean, like, it probably runs a hell of a lot smoother on the PS3 than it does the Wii. You might see Gorgasm. I'm trying for it. I'm aiming carefully. 